Hey, welcome back. In this mini lecture, I'll be talking about building relationships with parents. Um, here's a quote. Schooling is first and foremost about relationships between and among students, teachers and parents, and community building, which improves teaching and learning. From this, relationships help teaching and learning. Here are some guiding assumptions when you communicate with parents. First, avoid assumptions about these parents. Uh, two, formulate your own conclusions about students and parents based on your own experiences with them. Three, please remember that families are equal partners in a child's education, and based on that. Four, the home environment is the primary educational environment. Try to figure out ways to leverage that. In terms of making formal parental conf contact, one, maintain contact with parents is critical. Remember that. Two, set up positive interactions as soon as possible, so you start off the, the year off right. Three, positive uh, parental communication. It helps students succeed, it enhances our professional reputations as educators, and it lowers stress for you and them. You want to make sure that you partner with parents and it's a positive collaboration. From this, one, maintain relationships with two-way communication that goes back and forth between the two of you to make sure it's not just you lecturing to them. Two, provide regular progress reports so they're not surprised by any dips in student progress. Three, you want to compliment your parents to other people. Let students who may be their, their children know that you think highly of their parents, so make sort of a virtuous circle. And four, thanks parents for the support because their support is necessary for their student success. You want to create a caring community with parents. First, be sensitive to cultural and linguistic backgrounds that may be different than your own. Two, do not give overly complex materials and homework that they may have struggles dealing with. Three, begin with something simple that is likely to be rewarding to the parent and the child so it will incentivize their future work with you. Four, please remember that all families have strengths and provide whatever assets they have. Five, you want to make sure that you support parents to learn ways to help their children so that, that their helping of their children gets better and better as the school year passes. Six, parents will ask questions that you cannot answer or request services you cannot provide. That is fine. This leads to point seven. Know the limits of your expertise and when you need help. It's okay to say, I don't know. Uh, when you do all this and you're involving parents, this type of formal involvement in their child's education may be new to parents, and that's that's okay. Maybe hopefully it will lead to a broader you know, use of um, um, parents and their involvement in your class beyond. Try to always believe that students, schools, and families influence each other, so make sure it's positive influence back and forth. In terms of summary for all of this, first, contact parents at the beginning of, this, of the school year. Two, reach out immediately if a conflict occurs. Three, return calls and emails promptly. You want to make sure that you formally document notable student-parent interactions so that you have a record of them. B, respond cautiously in negative emails to make sure that your language is appropriate and professional. Four, seek help from school professionals, especially counselors or um, those who may be working with your students, such as a coach, a band director, a club sponsor, to make sure that you have a holistic, integrated community helping students. Five, you want to notify an administration about 10 situations that may arise in the future so that they're not surprised. And six, do not be intimidated or abused by parents. You know, work collaboratively, and I'm sure if you're proactive and you're kind and gentle, you can uh, solve any, any uh, situations. A final quote, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, working together is success. I hope that you can work together with your parents for a successful school year. This is Building Relationships with Parents. Thanks for watching. Take care. Hope to see you again soon.